Hello, this is Karen Evola from FashionStepbyStep.com and today I bring with me one of the lessons from my course Watercolors for Fashion Illustration. And this lesson will cover one of the most gorgeous textures and one of my favorite. You'll see how to render chiffon or any other kind of translucent fabric. You ready? Alright, this is how the final texture looks, but first, let's see the materials. You need your watercolor paper, your watercolors for the fabric, watercolors for the skin, according to the skin tone you want to create, water, a mixing palette, and brushes. Skin. The very first thing you have to do when you're rendering translucent fabric is to create the skin, or whatever is underneath the garment. So. Prepare the colors for the skin, in this case I create a light skin tone because it's easier, but you can add the tone of your choice. Here I divide the surface and I color only on one half because I want you to see the difference of having a layer of skin underneath the color for the translucent fabric. And so you can see how the texture looks with and without a skin underneath. Okay, create the layer for the skin or whatever you want to have under the fabric. You can add as many layers and shadows as you want. And let this layer dry. First layer of color. Start mixing the colors for the fabric and add water to the mix to make it light. You can test your color if you want. Start painting the first layer of color. You know chiffon and most translucent fabrics are quite fluid and have lots of movement. And for this kind of fabrics, I like to start outlining the folds and creases. So, outline the folds and creases that you want. Then, with a thicker brush, add color below the creases you just created. And soften the bottom edge with a bit of water. Finally, add more color where you need. Now you can let this layer dry or continue with the next layer right away. Remember to try both ways so you can see the difference and so you can realize what you like the most. Second layer of color. This layer should be a bit darker and more intense than the first one. For that, I mix the same colors again, but this time I add less water. And add the second layer of color where the fabric looks a bit darker or more intense. I start adding the color on the folds and creases. You can add water on the edges to soften them and to make the color look graded. Once you finish with this layer of color, let it dry. Third layer of color. Remember, you can create as many layers of color and details as you want. So now create a more intense color for the fabric. Mix the main colors with less water in a bit of paint gray. Test the color if you want. And add the third layer of color where there is less light, especially below the folds, creases, and where the fabric overlaps. Also, soften the edges with a bit of water.
And finally, add more color where you need to. Shadows Create a darker color for the fabric, mixing the main colors with a bit of violet and paints gray. This color should look more intense than the rest. Test the color if you want. And add this color where there are shadows and where the fabric overlaps, like in folds and creases. I use this color with a thin brush especially to reinforce the folds and creases. Now, can you see the difference between one half and the other? Can you note how the left side looks like a white fabric with light like shadows? And can you see how the right side actually looks like a light like translucent fabric? Just because of a skin layer of color? Great! This is how you render translucent fabric. Hope you liked this lesson and now it's your turn. Grab your materials and paint the texture. Now you can get your fashion illustration ideas onto paper using watercolors with my curves watercolors for fashion illustration. Enroll now and get access to more than 30 lessons and more than 30 videos plus one monthly challenge to learn and improve your skills big time for only $29. More info and enrollment through the link. See you in the next video. Bye bye!